Hello, and welcome to Alex Temp's Tabletop. I should say welcome aboard. Today we're doing something a bit different. Um, all this Warhammer and stuff, people being negative, people being positive, I thought, let's shake it up. I've been having a miniature I've been wanting to paint for a while now, it's been in my little cupboard of potential, and I thought, why not paint the Cruel Seas Special Edition Das Boot U-Boat? A miniature. It says it's called Das Boot. I don't actually think this miniature is a replica of the U-boat from Das Boot um, because um, it's got a different like type of top bit and stuff but it's called Das Boot. It works for the title. So yeah something a bit different. It's just kind of a voiceover. I wanted to just do something different today. So I said I built the metal miniature and then I primed it with um, Citadel, Gracia. Um, I'm not going to tell you how I painted it, and this ain't a paint guide, this is just me talking about painting this U-boat, it's just something a bit different. It, we get historic sometimes on the channel, but not as much as some people may want. If you want more, let me know in the comments, it lets me gauge what you guys want to see. Here's my cat, she likes to stalk me <laughs> when I'm like priming outside in the garden. So there's Hocus being all cute. So I painted this on stream, so first of all, apologies for the sped up footage. Um, two hours is quite a lot and trying to condense it into a five minute video can be a challenge. So getting the colour right for the U-boat, I essentially looked at some reference pictures, I tried to get an idea and I decided we're going to go for like a type of dark beat up grey, so like a dark grey then a strong tone wash and then like a lighter grey and I thought that would be enough for definition. Um, I deliberately used um, Vallejo and Army Painter paints for this, even though I'm used to using Citadel paints. So that was kind of fun, um, I can really get behind the Vallejo paints. Some of the Army Painters paints are a bit hit and miss. One was really nice which was, um, I think it's deep blue, sky blue, that was really good for the water effect. But some of them I found was a bit um, watery and liquidly. But so yeah, as you can see, I applied that onto the base. That was cool. I had that grey wash on the U-boat submarine, so that was good. And then I was going to go and highlight it. So for the water, I had some people say, why don't you put a gloss on? And I thought for the miniature it'd be a bit too much. It'd be a bit, a bit slightly overwhelming. So I didn't, but I put a wash on. Then I did a brighter blue dry brush and then I used this kind of off-white grey for like those choppy waves like where all the chummy water comes on top of the ocean waves and it actually turned out really well. Now a thing what I really enjoyed when working on this miniature was I used AK Interactive Dark Streaking Grime. Now I know AK's had some controversy in the past, I don't endorse their very bad choice in marketing but I can say their product for Dark Streak and Grime is very good. I can see now why a lot of scale model builders use it on like tanks and like World War II army vehicles you generally get a very nice look. So I had to apply that on quite thickly and then I used the AK Interactive White Spirit with a cotton bud to slowly take it away over time and then what I did I went back over and slowly built up those layers and it actually added so much to the model. I was very impressed, not with myself, but with the product. Like, you know when you hear the term liquid talent, you put a wash on the model and it makes it so much better. This streak and grime added so much to this U-boat. It generally made me look like a better painter than I am. I know, look at me just um, shoot myself down. So yeah, so I was doing that and then I was just tidying up the U-boat a bit. Um, I felt a bit bad because like I think the howitzer, the flank gun and like the antennas on the U-boat were a bit wobbly but these are metal minis so that's what you're going to get. So I've slowed down the footage a bit here now so you can have a better look. I will have a picture pop up on a bit. I also have to mention someone who inspired kind of this video. I've been watching a lot of their content. I've been really enjoying it. Um, Grandad Gamer, he, he plays um, video games and he paints miniatures. He's been playing Atlantic Fleet and it's like um, World War II Navy battles and I was like been really enjoying this series so I'll put a link to his channel at the end of this video because it really 
It really got me in the mood to paint this U-boat up, but I was really happy how the water turned out and how the U-boat turned out. I was really over the moon. As well, um, before I go, I have to thank my Patreons. Thank you guys for being so supportive, paying for this um, editing software. It means the world. Um, I post blogs. Um, there's channel benefits, blah, blah, blah. There's links in the description. Check it out if you want. Um, it's greatly appreciated. As well, likes, comments, subscribes, all that stuff. Whatever you can do, it supports the channel. And for that, I am always in your guys' debt. So that was a bit different than Warhammer. If you want to see something a bit different down the line, leave a comment. That's pretty cool. Um, we're near September, which means we're near October, which is Halloween. Halloween's going to be cool. I've got some special Halloween themed paint videos, what I need to do over September. But hopefully you look forward to that. So you all take care now. Here's some pop-up stuff on the screen. And until next time, keep it easy and better deep dive now. See you later.